can really see that. That's almost like takes on the properties of like an elastic band. Exactly, yes. I'm going to draw a face on it just to really get that emotional investment. Let's call him Egbert. He's looking a little worried, and for good reason, because I have here Egbert's car and a solid wall that he is going to crash into. This is unforgiving. There is no flex in this thing at all. This is going to be a very abrupt stop. But um, to allow Egbert to build up some speed, uh, I've got something you don't find too often on motorways, um, a big old ramp. Okay, Egbert is belted in and ready. Go! Okay, now that's quite an impact. As the car comes down the ramp, it builds up all this momentum, it has lots of energy, and then when it hits the wall, it stops dead, and all that energy has to go somewhere, which means that the forces inside the car are very high. Those forces are felt by the surface of uh, Egbert's shell. Omelette, anyone? Now, if this was a real car, the car would be in shatters, right? The front would be crumpled, it'd be, it'd be an absolute disaster. But watch what happens when I install my expertly crafted flexible cardboard crash barrier. It's got a W shape to it. So let's just pop this in front. Maybe this time I'm going to do an egg, but that's just slightly more confident, a little bit more cocky. Bit of a daredevil. So now everything else is the same, right? The ramp's the same, the egg's the same, the car's the same. But look at what happens when you let go instead. How you doing there, little guy? He's fine! You can see, though, the barrier ends up being quite dented. Quite a big old dent there, and there's a clue in that. Some of the energy of stopping has dissipated through the crash barrier itself. The W-shaped barrier is designed to deform when hit by a vehicle. As it bends and crumples, it absorbs much of the force that would have gone into the car. By allowing some cushioning on the impact, Egbert has got away scot-free. 